Hello viewers, welcome to my channel ITJ Olympiads and EPHysics with Ambrish and today I have brought another interesting problem for all of you and this one is from uh, Estonian Olympiad collection that is uh, 200 Estonian Olympiad problems and this is problem number 149 and it's about a bolt, bolt cutter so what's happening we are trying to uh, let's say uh, press something uh, in the jaws of a bolt by applying force over here so let me formally read out the problem find how much force does the blade of the bolt cutter apply on the bolt c figure if the force applied on the handle is 90 newton so we are applying a force of 90 newton over here from both sides 90 newton 90 newton each and we have to find out uh, what is the force applied on the this bolt on the uh, uh, in the jaws of the bolt cutter okay so if you want you can give it a try i'll be presenting my analysis right away so let's see so I will be presenting two methods for doing this. First is the method of virtual work and uh, why does this method of virtual work work? Uh, uh, that I have uh, explained in another video, uh, long back I did a video, I will also be providing the link to that video and uh, I will also be presenting another method uh, that is the torque method. It turns out that torque method is easier but still I want to uh, show an application of virtual me work method so I will be doing both the methods here. Okay. So first method is method of virtual work. Okay. So, uh, and uh, the video link I will be giving in the description box, here I am just going to apply. So let's say uh, we imagine that uh, this jaw turns by, uh, rather this handle turns by some angle theta about this pivot, okay. Let's say this is uh, the pivot and uh, this turns through an angle theta. Then what happens, uh, this, uh, let's say this radius is R, so the this joint A or you can say the pin A, this moves by an angle r theta in this direction okay in an inclined direction moves by r theta and let's say the angle with the vertical is alpha so its vertical displacement is nothing but r theta times cos alpha right so that's what i've written say so theta is the small angle through which the long link turns uh, vertical shift of uh, so what is the vertical shift of a delta y is r theta times cos alpha okay which can also be written as r cos alpha times theta uh, rather r cos alpha uh, yes r cos alpha times theta and r cos alpha is nothing but this 100 mm that is the projection of this uh, r on the horizontal axis so that is uh, 100 mm so it becomes 100 mm into theta the vertical shift of uh, joint a now the pin a uh, is also moving you can think about the movement about this uh, pin b so the pin b acts like a hinge and the a uh, joint a uh, moves uh, a little bit uh, upward because let's say this uh, joint the, the joint at the pin B this turns through an angle phi so then uh, the vertical shift of A then is also 160 into phi and the two vertical shifts should be equal because A is also moving due to the pivot at uh, this joint of the handles and it's also moving due to the pivot B so that's what I've done so similarly considering a phi turn about pin B delta Y is 160 into phi why? Because this distance is uh, 160. Uh, yeah. So uh, this is 160, and this turns through an angle phi. So 160 into phi is also the vertical displacement of A. So now these two displacements must be equal because they are uh, vertical displacements of pin A only. So 100 mm into theta, that is this one, should be equal to 160 mm into phi. Okay. So uh, so now and of course uh, uh, for a, according to method of virtual work. The net work done by all the forces on the system in equilibrium is zero for the virtual displacement. So theta and phi are imaginary uh, displacements in the method of virtual work, uh, but they'll ha have some constraint relation with each other, although they're just uh, imaginary. You, nothing is moving as such because the whole system is in equilibrium. So the virtual summation of virtual work done by these two forces and uh, the forces acting on uh, the bolt, all these virtual work sum must be zero or you can say magnitude wise the work done by these two forces should be equal to the work done by this f dash and f dash that is acting on the bolt so that's what i've done so f into 600 mm into theta into 2 why because see this distance is 600 mm so f into 600 mm into theta is the displacement of this thing okay because this turns to an angle so vertical displacement of this point must be 600 into theta in the same way as the vertical displacement of pin a was uh, r cos uh, theta into uh, uh, r cos alpha into theta same way this vertical displacement is simply 600 mm into theta so 600 mm into theta into 2 why because the lower uh, handle is also moving and the applied force is f and this should be equal to magnitude wise f dash into 80 mm into phi into 2 why 
see f dash is acting here and the arm of this uh, about pivot d is 80 mm so f dash into 80 mm into 5 that's the work done by the upper force and this should also be equal to the work done by lower uh, force and therefore you uh, take the factor of 2 and using equation 1 and 2 you can readily calculate just divide the 2 theta theta phi phi cancel off and you get f dash is equal to uh, 12f and just put in the value f equal to 90 newton so this is what you get f dash is 1080 newton so that was the solution using method of virtual work okay now let me present the torque method it happens the torque method is very very easy here you see balancing the torques so uh, first let's say I balance the torque about uh, this pin pin A I have made, this time I have named this one as pin A so F into 600 mm okay so I am considering this link uh, so F into 600 mm is the clockwise torque due to F and this should be equal to let's say here the action reaction is N so this should be N into 100 mm so balancing the torque about pin A that's what you get F into 600 is equal to N into 100 now I can also balance the torque for this link about pin C so here uh, the torque due to N is N into 160 and the torque due to F3 is F3 into 80 so that's what I have done so N into 160 is equal to F3 into 80 now uh, from equation 1 and 2 you can just eliminate N from them and just uh, get a relationship between F3 and F so that's what I have done from these two equations F3 is F into 600 upon 100 into 160 by 180 that, that is 12 F and that is 1080 Newton so we get the exactly same answer using the torque method also okay so that was my analysis for this problem fairly straightforward problem nonetheless instructive uh, in terms of uh, virtual work method and the torque balancing okay so i hope you enjoyed the analysis and if you enjoyed the analysis please do give my video a thumbs up and please share this video as much as possible with your friends through whatsapp telegram discord or whatever medium you use for networking with your friends who are preparing for je or olympiads and most importantly if you're not already subscribed to my channel you know what to do please do hit that subscribe button because that's what keeps me motivated to do a new video for all of you uh, frequently and thanks a lot for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one and as always god bless you all thank you